Tonight, 10 News tracked down the apartment where Border Patrol agents were serving a warrant when an agent shot and killed a mother of five. 10 News reporter Itika Milanes is in Chula Vista with how often neighbors say Monique Tachikin was at that apartment. I've seen her here a few times, but I, like what I said, I don't talk to her. I don't. Verlina Frando lives next to the apartment where Border Patrol agents were looking for a convicted felon named Ricky. She remembers seeing Monique Taji King at the apartment police say was known for drug activity. And there's a bunch of people, you know, I think about seven guys were out here just wearing, you know, they were wearing civilian clothing, they didn't identify themselves, just started asking questions. And they were asking questions uh, like, are you in parole? Was Monique or anybody else in there doing drugs that day? No. This man doesn't want to show his face for fear of retaliation, but he says he saw the whole thing go down from beginning to the deadly end. They tried to get in the house. He says Monique slipped by them and tried to get away. And he's telling her, ma'am, please stop, please stop. I need to talk to you, ma'am, I need to talk to you. Well, she kept going. The agent followed her to her car parked right here. And he's all telling her, get out of the car, ma'am, get out of the car, ma'am. But that Jaquin never stopped. So he jumped on the hood. He jumped on the hood. She did not hit him. She did not hit him. Yesterday, Chula Vista police said she hit the agent twice. Seconds later, the agent fired at least 10 shots. It breaks my heart. I seen her. She looked at me before she died. She looked me in the eyes before she died. In Chula Vista, Itika Milanis, 10 News. Yesterday, Chula Vista police said Tatcha Keen was on probation for a drug-related arrest. They say that may have been why she tried to get away from agents.